Hi, my name is Dr. David Lee, and today I'm going to be talking to you about lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow. All right, some of the symptoms of lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow is pain at the lateral portion of the elbow, uh, pain with gripping activities, uh, basically pain with any kind of wrist activities as well too, that's all gonna cause pain. So what happens is that because of overuse, maybe uh, you're doing a lot of wrist extension exercises or keeping your wrist extended or into a, a different position than neutral, what happens is that all these muscles on the top of your forearm here, which are called your wrist extensors, which attach right here into the lateral portion of the elbow, will start to get inflamed. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that everything is in neutral position so that we don't cause irritation to that. Also, what happens is that if you're in poor posture, so if your shoulder is coming forward, if your head is forward like this, you can also press on some of the nerves that go out to your arm through your neck. So what happens is that you'll have some pain that comes in through the lateral portion of the elbow and that can also cause lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow. So we wanna make sure that we're not over gripping things and over using the muscles in our forearm and uh, causing extra tension into the outside of the elbow. All right, so the next thing we're gonna to do to help out with symptoms for tennis elbow is we're gonna do some cold therapy. We're gonna use the cold massage ball roller, which is gonna be stored in your freezer, so it's gonna have a cooling effect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and put it right here on the outside of the elbow. Generally, in the first three days, we have a lot of swelling inflammation, so this is gonna to help to control those symptoms. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and roll all over the, the outside of the elbow, especially where you feel like it's swollen. And it's also gonna give you a little bit of a massaging effect as well too. So you can do that for about 10 to 15 minutes on the hour, and you can do that every hour if you want to. Uh, it's just gonna help to decrease the inflammation and swelling, which is gonna help your pain in general. All right, another thing to help out with the symptoms for tennis elbow is our Dr. Pat's freeze gel. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and put this all over the outside of the elbow here and then uh, it's gonna help take the edge off. So if you need something um, with pain relief, then this is a good product to use and to help, all the, um, to help all the intensity of the pain. So with treatments of lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow, what we wanna do first is take the stress off the area. So if you're overworking your wrist, forearm, all that, and that's causing the pain, we wanna make sure that we're modifying that activity. So don't overwork it, number one because that's gonna create more inflammation to the area. Uh, we also, when we're past the inflammatory state, we want to uh, do some gentle stretching, range of motion of the forearm and the elbow. And then what we wanna do is we want to strengthen it so when we get back into activity, uh, the forearm muscles can actually take the load and not pull so hard on the elbow. So we wanna make sure that the tissues are prepared for activity. So we're gonna strengthen it and then get you into your functional exercises so you know how to recruit all those muscles to protect the elbow. All right, next to help out with symptoms for tennis elbow, we have this elbow brace. So what it does is it provides a little bit of support to the elbow joint so that it helps take some of the stress off the elbow. Um, this first strap right here going down towards the hand uh, is actually the most important one because if we can keep this just a little bit tighter, if it doesn't cause any increased um, symptoms, what it does is it actually creates a false joint here. So um, your forearm muscles will actually start to pull from here instead of the elbow, and then um, adjust the tightness to whatever you feel is most comfortable to. You don't wanna make it too, too, too tight, and then you don't wanna make it too loose because then you're not getting any support. So somewhere in the middle where you don't, you ever, where you think it's comfortable, and then go from there. All right, so what I'm demonstrating here is a posture brace. So why this helps with tennis elbow is because if we can keep the shoulders back into this position, it actually prevents me from rounding forward. So nerves out to your elbow come in through from your neck into your shoulder and down through the hand. So if we can keep the shoulders back, it's gonna take the stress off those nerves that can give you pain in the elbow. Also, it's gonna allow me to use my upper back muscles so that I don't put so much tension on my elbow when I do all my activities. So this is a good temporary fix uh, to help with your posture so that uh, we take the stress off the elbow 
and then we want to make sure that we're trying to use those muscles back there so we can build up the strength and then we can um, not need the, the postural brace. All right, to help with symptoms for tennis elbow, we can also use a wrist brace. So what this does is it locks your wrist into neutral position so you can't flex it or you can't extend it. So if we keep it extended, say if we're typing on the computer and we're extending our wrist like this, what it does is it overloads the, the top part of your forearm and then puts more pressure on the elbow. Uh, and also with it being flexed, it can overstretch everything on the top as well too. So we wanna make sure that we're keeping everything in neutral. So this is a reminder to help keep everything in neutral. Also at night, a lot of times people sleep by either like this or like this. So this is gonna to help to keep all that in place as well.